Hello and welcome to Island Restorations. Hello. Hi, baby. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right. Hello and welcome to Whiteland Restorations. It is a gorgeous weekend here, it isn't it? It has been for ages. What it's been amazing so weather dry. Which is in, really good for us because we need everything to dry out. <laughs> yeah, in rainy Wales it has been glorious for well over Yay. a month. Well, then we've had a bit of rain for We a have not. But we're going to make the most of the nice weather and uh, do something on the daily yeah. driver. Yeah, sadly, sad times, bad times. Oof. Um, the Yeti lost a bit of trim in the winter one of these yes and um they're irreplaceable you cannot unobtainium you cannot it's a find limited them. edition urban yeah and one of the arch trims has come off and they're just not making them anymore and because it's a limited edition there's none in the scrapyards none in the scrapyards i have been in touch with the manufacturer of this part bennett automotive in the czech republic and yeah. They never got back to me. I have searched high and low every forum, every Facebook group, every... Exactly. That's right. Every... You've been everywhere. Every... Right. We have our piece of material. That looks like it might do the trick. We have our trim to copy and reverse because it's got to be the opposite side of the car. So let's start by drawing around it. I think that's a good start. Um, draw around it and hopefully we'll have enough material here to do what I need to do. For accuracy, we're gonna use a normal everyday ballpoint pen, <clears throat> which isn't gonna work on the aluminium. So let's cover it in tape first. So we've got something to draw on. Right, brilliant. So this is what we're gonna make. We need to make sure we use as much of this as possible because there's a little return on the inside edge. We need to make sure we've got enough. I think we can hammer whatever that is flat afterwards. So let's just draw around it nice and accurately. Using a trusty digital caliper, I'm just going to measure the thickness here. This edge actually lips around the edge of the door. Um, yeah, so six, six mil, an extra six mil. Um, yeah, including the thickness of the material. So it's got an overhang of a few mil. So. <clears throat> let's say, let's cut an extra seven because we can always trim it back, can't we? About seven mil, let's just mark this. Hopefully you can see this. I'm gonna just use this, mark it there. So we're just marking at the start and the end. And I'm gonna use the trim piece again as a guide. This isn't super accurate, but it'll certainly do the job. Now that gives us an excellent cutting line. We're a little bit short, but I don't think, I think we're gonna be lucky enough to get away with that.
So we have our outer um, angle, radius, flange, angle, cut off, thingamabob. So we're going to move on to the innermost one. I've already trimmed away and smoothed it out, so we should just be ready to go straight in with the Jenny. And um, Jenny from the block and run this little fine. Right, um, that's annoying. The because the radius gets tighter in the middle, it's getting pushed out. But we're going to have to do it by eye. Hopefully. It won't be wobbly as hell. It takes a lot more concentration to do it by eye. This is as far as we have got so far. As far as we've got so far. Look at it, it's a, it's a really good copy. I mean, it got that side, you got that side, you got that fold. I mean, you couldn't ask for better, really. It's really hard as well. This is really strong aluminium. Yeah, I mean, these are quite flexible. Those are quite flexible. So, I mean, the next thing really to do, we've got the shape now, is to get the car in and have an offer up. Get the form right get the actual flow because this one here will easily bend to whatever shape the car is mm -hmm. whereas this i mean i i you saw for aluminium i had to heat it up to, in order to form it like this yeah, well it's not gonna go anywhere is it it's gonna be bloody sturdy well, i hope it doesn't go anywhere me too yeah. not again make another one. um do you want me to go get the car in then let's bring the yeti in yep. and have a look that's that. So we also need to prep the sides of the doors because there's the old glue remaining on the doors. That'll have to come off. I've got my hair stuck in the microphone. There we go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Um, yeah, because um, all that bloody um, PU sealant that they put on at the dealer. Oh my God, wait till you see it. What a mess. Um, I've got to get the car. We're going to get the car. Good timing. 
Now, so here's the offending area. You can see all the old glue still remaining on the door. Um, that is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to get this stuff off. Fortunately, 90% of it, you see this line here? That's one of those um, stone chip protection sticker things. So I think if we peel that, it's going to take 90% of this goo off all the way up to here. So really loads of it. We'll just have to pick that last bit off by other means. But let's just check, see this fits. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. It's gonna take a bit more tweaking, a bit more tweaking, definitely, but it seems to follow all the lines correctly. Maybe hold it down a little bit. Might be a little bit too thick, but I mean, we're only talking a, a millimeter or so. So I think next thing we do is we strip this old glue off the door and um, then we start reshaping, well, fine tuning the shape on this to fit the door properly. Let's do it. Right, slight change of plan. We're just gonna cut these off. We're gonna warm them up with a high air gun and we're just gonna try and remove as much as we can. For this, I'm gonna be using a metal filler spreader, but it's very sharp. Not as sharp as a blade, but sharp enough to cut through things without cutting into paint. It's a great for removing badges and things like that, actually. Oh, that's a good bit. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can see how that stuff just didn't stick to anything. Look at it. How was that supposed to stick a bit of trim on? Well, so we're pretty happy with the fitment of that. Um, a couple more tweaks to go, I think, though, just to get it a little bit tighter. And then I think we'll um, put some paint on it. What about that? Make it look a bit pretty. So a couple of tweaks. I'm just gonna reuse the Jenny to fold this top of this top angle over a little bit more and try and get it tucked in a bit tighter to the bodywork. Well, we got this shape 90 something, 95% there. It's pretty damn tight, but I would like it really, really, really snug. If you look at this one, this edge here is actually not square. It's actually tapered in slightly. So I've made mine dead square and it may be sitting on this edge here, this internal edge and holding it out from the door. So I think if we took a little grinder or a file and just put that in an inward shape chamfer a little bit um we will get that last few percent and get this thing fitting really nice right so i'm fairly happy with the shape um it hugs the door really nicely maybe a gap of less than a millimeter in some places which i'm pretty sure we can get out with a little bit of glue in and a little bit of clamp in so i'm going to call that shaped up um next thing we need to do is to fine tune the actual the flow of the material in case there's any kinkies and wibbles in it so let's get that sanded smooth and then we'll get some paint on it Right guys, it looks like our Rode microphones have stopped working, so uh, it's probably an update issue or something, I don't know. So we're going to give this a quick spray. I've already done the back of the panel and it does look very nice. It's, it's, it's a definitely textured, you can hear it. Very textured, it's quite durable. You do have to give it, a, give it an epoxy colour, it's not straight to metal this stuff. It's straight to plastic, but not straight to metal. So I've already given it a key up with some scotch. 
So we're ready to go straight on and spray it with this stuff. Right, so this is the stuff I'm using. Solo Refinishing Solutions Texture Black. So it just leaves like a, a rough finish behind basically. Um, quite good stuff. Great for smart repairs on plastic. This is looking really good. That that texture spray really looks like proper plastic trim. Have a good look at that. I mean, hold on. Your phone doesn't pick up black very well. No, it it's doesn't. all pixelated. Let's go see it on the car anyway. Yeah, hold on. All right, now we're outside in the sun. Check this Let's out. Let's have a look at that. I mean, that looks just like the ABS plastic finish. Yeah. I mean, beautiful. Let's see what it looks like against there. I mean, you wouldn't know. Have a stand back and a look. Stand back. Stunning. It's brilliant. It's perfect. I mean, the car is back together again. Yeah, I think once we re these things. Yeah, God, I've got a video coming up with um, plastic treatment coming on. So, the fitment's um, okay, isn't it? Fitment's nice beautiful. Nice. It is perfect. I mean, I'll come back this way a bit. There we go. Lining up. Ooh, no, back a bit. There we go. Lining up with the door edge. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Obviously, we'll do this properly. Glue it. Stick it in position. Um, help you in there. But no, it is spot on, babe. So right. impressed. So we have glued the other side trim back on. Have a look at yeah. this. Um, uh, the reason we took this one off, because obviously the people had done it the same, hadn't they? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That's so just some used... quality mask in there. Same thing, we cut off all the old glue, we actually have scotched the inside of this panel, applied new glue, Harold mm -hmm. Dykes this time, um, epoxy two-part, and got to hold it back on. So we'll do the same with this. And now, no more risk of the rear trims flying off when we go for a Chinese. <laughs> I used about half a tube of this Harold Dyke on the first one, so I'm just making sure I've got enough. So yeah. well, which arrow? This is a special one, isn't it? This is um, five minute rapid arrow dye, um, fast setting, but look, automotive for hoovers, for vases, and photo frames. I mean, that's what, what better combination? Oh, yeah. What part of that is automotive? The car. All oh, right. You're going outside? Yeah, I'm going to take. Got the tape <gasps> to the car. Is your consistency mixed? Yeah, it looks like yellow snot. Yellow snot, eh? Yummy. I'm going to go for the one-handed tape dispense. So I'll put this on and you can hand it to me. That's a very small piece of tape. A little bit of tape in and glue in. I think the other side probably ready to come off. I mean the tape is. Right. <clears throat> it is time to release the tape. Release me. Sorry. One, will it peel off the paint? Two, will it stick to the car? Well, not the tape, but the... Well, yeah. The trim piece. Man, we're doing this the we did, way. Yeah, God. It's looking good so far. I'm not seeing any black coming off. Really tough paint, that, isn't it? It is quite tough paint. It is painful, yeah. It's like, it all the wrong way. It's like, watching, it's like watching YTS, babes. How are we looking? I mean, it's attached. Let me have a look. We have trims at the front and trims at the back. That is a stunning bit of fabrication work there, babes. I mean... It's okay. It's more than okay. It's okay. There's a few lumpy, bumpy bits in it. I mean, look at that. You'd be, hard, you'd be hard pushed. 
hard push to, to, to notice the difference in once, that front. Once this is how, I mean, if you really, sorry, excuse me. Oh, hello. If you really, really wanted to blend this in, you would also paint this and like fade it out with yeah. your stone chip stuff. I mean, once it gets, once it, once it. Well, or we could liven this trim up with a bit of trim re revitalization. That's exactly what I've got planned a black plastic revitalization episode for this car because there's a lot of black plastics. Yeah. Right then, guys. Um... Don't forget, we have an Instagram account, we have a TikTok account, yep. we have a Twitter account. Yeah. Subscribe. Facebook account. Facebook account. No, don't subscribe to that one. Um, subscribe <laughs> to us on this channel. It is free, completely, it's completely free, free, and it'll help us out. Click subscribe. It does. Yep. We're at nine k subs. Can you nearly, believe that? Nine k. We're, we're one away. We're probably there now. Um, so close to ten. We need a giveaway for ten k. A ten k giveaway. Ten k give away. We'll have a think about that. We'll get back to you. Mm. What should we give away? This board of paper. <laughs> Right then, we shall see you next time, guys. Yeah. Have a great one. Ciao. Ciao. Bye.